Folks, I just told ChatGPT to analyze the discussions on Reddit and automatically publish a Twitter thread about the findings. And it actually pulled it off without me opening a single app. This isn't just some fantasy scenario. This is happening right now with a tool called Ruby that basically gives any AI chat access to over 600 apps. My name is Daniel and what I'm about to show you is going to change how you think about AI automation. In this video, I'll walk you through exactly what Ruby does and why it might be the missing piece in your productivity puzzle. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's jump right in! Folks, time to break down what this thing actually is. Ruby is not another dashboard or yet another plugin that you need to babysit. It's more like a bridge between the chat you already use and the dozens of apps that normally demand your time and attention. Guys, what makes it stand out is how seamlessly it blends into your routine. You don't need to open a new service or switch windows. Just stay inside your chat, give a simple instruction, and this service takes care of the execution. From handling documents to pulling numbers, it runs the task in the background and gives you the result right where you are. Another thing worth noting is memory, folks. Once you've connected your accounts, Ruby remembers the setup across sessions. That means no repetitive authorizations and no reconnecting every single time. You log in once and from then on, it works like a long-term assistant that always knows your context. This approach also takes away the technical headaches, guys. You don't have to fix broken integrations or deal with confusing formats. It quietly takes care of all that invisible plumbing so you can just focus on the actual outcome. And guys, beyond convenience, Rube actually saves hours. Every time you avoid switching apps or manually copying data, you reclaim that lost time. And if you have ever felt drained from bouncing between tabs, you know how valuable that can be. Okay, my friends, let me show you how this actually works. Setting up Ruby is refreshingly straightforward. I'll head over to the website, and now you can see this clean homepage. The first thing that catches your eye is the marketplace. Folks, they really do deliver on that hundreds of apps promise. They are organized by categories from developer tools to CRM to productivity and so on. Whatever your workflow looks like, there's a good chance you'll find the right fit here. Let's move to the dashboard. Guys, here you'll see a chat interface that feels instantly familiar. The app even provides sample prompts you can use right away, so you don't start from a blank slate. This is also where you'll access and manage all your connected apps. At the beginning, your list will be empty, but we'll fix that in a moment by linking Gmail. Guys, you get two options – connect through Composio or use your own developer app. I'll go with the recommended one. Choose all the scopes you need and boom! Account connected successfully. You can see exactly what permissions Ruby has and manage them. There are four pages of tools just for Gmail alone. The control is incredible. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Now let me show you how this works in action. I'll use the custom GPT version to keep things simple. I can ask it to check my unread emails, summarize the important ones, and ignore the promotional junk. Folks, the first time setup requires signing in with your account. Once that's done, watch what happens. It analyzes the request, recognizes it as a moderately complex workflow, and actually asks clarifying questions before proceeding. This is smart automation. I'll approve the plan and now watch as the tool processes my emails. Even when it hits an error, it self-corrects and reruns the parsing. No intervention needed from me. And there's the summary. All the key information I need without ever opening Gmail. That's the power of working in one unified space. Let's dive deeper into some more powerful use cases, guys. We'll tackle email management at scale. I want the assistant to mark all promotional emails as spam and unsubscribe from them automatically. Watch how it processes this request, creates a plan, and executes bulk actions across my emails. When I check Gmail afterward, all those promotional messages are sitting in spam. This kind of email management would normally take more time of manual work. Now for something more complex, folks. I'll ask the app to analyze the top 5 posts about productivity tools on Reddit and create a Twitter thread from those insights. First, it guides me through connecting to Reddit. The process is identical to what we saw with Gmail. Quick setup and we're ready. It fetches the posts, 
provides summaries with links and drafts a complete Twitter thread, guys. And then it offers to auto-publish this thread directly to my account. The thread gets published automatically without me ever opening Twitter. That's a complete research to publication workflow handled by one tool. Guys, this shows something powerful. Instead of spending hours jumping between platforms and manually organizing information, Ruby handles entire workflows intelligently. One request, multiple apps, zero context switching. Let's sum it up, folks. It's clear this tool isn't about adding more clutter, but about clearing the noise and giving you one simple place to run your work. Whether you're dealing with email, reports, or client updates, it feels like you finally have a reliable assistant inside your chat. Guys, that's the kind of support that makes a real difference day to day. So don't wait around. Head to ruby.app and see how quickly it can save you time. What's the most annoying part of your current workflow that you wish AI could just handle automatically? Drop your answers in the comments. Feel free to check out the links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.